Ruben Visser. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Marcus. Go, go, go. Best of luck, everyone. Who's your cat, Queen? Oh, yeah, it's gone. You don't even move it. Jesus Christ. It will do. It's just going to, it's trying to register that you. Is it trying to, oh my God, it really hurts my thingy. Oh. Ow. Yeah, it hurts, Mark. It hurts my bits. I can't do it. Oh, it I needs to be lower. I don't know. What, how hard is that? Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening. It's definitely just good morning. You've got no sound, David. Hmm. Oh, what was there? No sound on the intro. Ah, oh, balls. I might play it again when, when we're bored halfway up the Alp later. Anyway, good morning, everyone. Cheers. Apologies for the lack of enthusiasm in my voice, but you know, it's nine o'clock in the morning. We're about to ride up Alp Duez. <coughs> To say hello to the guys in chat first before I come on to the main topic of today. Uh, Scott Van Man, otherwise known as Scott D Money. Great to see you, dude. Also otherwise known, I've just heard, as the poop waver from Bonnie Scotland. That's a, that's a new one on me, but I love it. Uh, Olav's in the house. Good to see you, man. David Joseph, Ring Visser, Andy Tage. Uh, who have I missed? I'm sure I have. Anyway, good to see you all. Um... Ruben was in the intro. Yeah, he's been in that one, well, ever since I made it, many moons ago. <clears throat> oh, Olaf had sound in the intro. Oh, good to hear. Right. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat hasn't quite woken up yet. Um, I have no idea what the turnout is. I can see a few recognisable names in the list be beside me, but this has been so rushed getting sorted and getting on. How? Good to see you, man. I know How is in the race as well. I've seen his name pop up. I also know Mick Capel's there, Rudy Powell's man, Martin Overweg, Martin Backer, uh, Oliver Trilk, I think is here. And I think I've just seen, sadly, that Erin Bailey won't be riding this. So I'm gutted for her, but incredibly pleased that there's one less sort of under 15 that can uh, humiliate me on another climb. Because uh, I'm going to have to part with Oliver's gloating at the end of this one, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, Paul McLaren's here. Anyway, <clears throat> on to the main topic. Well, firstly, we're doing Alpe d'Huez Stage 8 WKG Racing League. But this is Mr. Brian Roden's 400th climb up Alpe d'Huez, Alpe de Zwift. <laughs> I don't really need to say much more than that. His, his legs have outlasted three or four uh, Wahoo kickers. Six or seven kicker climbs. Um, he keeps putting them through this kind of punishment. I think he's in some kind of stress testing program with Wahoo. And uh, he's winning, quite frankly. Um, I mean, 400 climbs. I mean, I'm not going to get too carried away. Come back, Brian, when you're on 500. Then we'll make a big deal out of it. <laughs> no, just kidding. That is, that. I mean, I think I've done maybe 30. If that, 20, something in the 20s, probably. Nudge is in the chat. Paul Trilk's in the chat. Great to see you all, guys. Um, <clears throat> so Rink saying, "Good luck, Nadia. Go get Marcus." This is how this is. This is how this is shaping out now, isn't it? It's like whoever I name as my rival just gets support from all over the place. It's disgusting, really. Um, well, anyway, good luck, Nadia. Um, and I mean, you know, if you if you beat me, you beat me. I've got another challenge today. Actually, I've got to try and beat a one-legged Keith Denton. Like he genuinely has been riding very hobbled. And uh, this might be my best chance of ever beating him at anything. So I'm going to give it a go. Other than sim racing, I can beat him with my eyes closed, let's be honest. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop the waffle for a second. Because <clears throat> we have six, five, four, three, two, one. Stage eight. Go, go, go. Best of luck, everybody. I've already seen some moaning about um, not having a staggered start, so I'm just going to say 
I don't care. <laughs> I'm past caring about those little details. Just get on your bike and bloody ride it. <laughs> you know who I'm talking to. <clears throat> right, you don't need a warm up for out, out the Zwift or Road to Sky. So you use this little flat section to just gently bring the legs in before all hell and cramp breaks loose as soon as it starts going up a bit. Jesus, we have got 188 people have turned up for this this morning. Good on you guys. Tell you what I should do is get on the back of this train if I can. <clears throat> I wasn't going to name any names, Mr. Visser. <laughs> Although you're often one of them. Rink, aren't you? Campaigning for staggered starts. I don't like them, personally. I think you can see who you're racing in the, in the with the big coloured letters of the, the uh, leaderboard on the side. <coughs> right, anyway, no waffle for a bit. Let's try and settle into this. See, I see that as a positive ring. I think that's where my opinion is different. And I'm probably wrong. <clears throat> but I like the fact that it gives some Ds a chance to mix it with the Cs, some Cs a chance to mix it with the Bs, etc. I'm knackered already. I haven't even hit the climb. I'm trying to get to Keith, who's a couple of seconds ahead with his one leg. <laughs> yeah. 16 vertical kilometers. Oh, someone's had a problem. AJ. That's a brilliant mindset, Nadja. I wish I could hold on to that. I've missed the boat with the big D train that is a good couple of hundred meters ahead of me already. See the line of yellow on the mini map. Okay, I'm with the hoff. It's a tricky one. There'll be very little pride to be taken if I beat if I do beat Keith today. Because he genuinely has a problem with one of his legs. But there will be a lot of shame if I lose, <laughs> lose to him. This is a no-win situation for me. 
I thought I'd be freezing this morning. I'm already really overheating. The best bit, yeah, me overtaking Keith. <laughs> Morning, Darren. <laughs> I agree, we are all bonkers, Mr. Hunter. <laughs> well, so I, I sprint for the finish now with Keith? <laughs> Go slightly long. <clears throat> the other thing is, Keith is a master at uh, negative splits. So. Me being with him now means nothing because I've had to work quite hard to get here and Keith is probably thinking I'll have a really gentle roll until we hit the climb. <clears throat> Has Brian finished yet? We're going 7 minutes 41. If he's not already past turn 15, I'll be disappointed. Ah, oh, Keith genuinely is in pain. Right, Keith, listen, as I mentioned, there'll be no particular enjoyment if I, for me if I beat you knowing you're in, a, you're in a bad way. So please don't push yourself. <clears throat> Here's the green laser gate of hell. That should be like a fiery black hole signifying the start of this. I don't know how far ahead Nadja is. Okay, so Nadja's a couple of hundred metres ahead. Thank you, Nadja, for the insight. Here we go. Up and up.
Oh yeah, that's not a fun ratio, Sonia. Cheers. John Van and Olaf Bonk for the ride-ons. <coughs> oh yeah. <laughs> right, so Nudge is not 5.2 kilometers. She's doing 5.2 watts per kilogram. <laughs> Oh no, nah, someone's on a TT bike. <laughs> uh, yeah, 5.2 WKG, go on Nadia. You'll be giving Brian a run for his money at that pace. Thank you, Gordon. Oh, someone's on a mountain bike as well, my god. Thank you, Helena. Oh, no, I'm trying to ram Keith off the road. Bit of revenge for last night's rallying, Keith. Yeah, hey Mark, good to see you, man. T-Type 1. Go, go, go. Well, the rallying, Keith, you did really well. That's the first time you've done the rally cross with us. And uh, you were well competitive. There are a couple of guys that are leagues ahead of everyone else. But you were mixing it with me and Darren. Uh, and some of the other guys we didn't know. <clears throat> and that was Christian I just got a ride on from, so cheers buddy. Hey, cheers, Mark. I'll try and fire some back soon, but it's taking all my concentration to hold on to 1.9 watts per kilogram. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't make good breakfast viewing, I don't think. Enjoy your bacon and eggs, Scott. Some of the slower starters are coming back now, having paced themselves well. Here comes Chris Davis. Hey, morning, mate. Thank you, Jane, for the ride on. I won't let Nadia know that you gave me a ride on.
I'm hoping my body's going through that weird 15, 20 minutes of blip that I have every time I ride and that I recover from this because at the moment, this feels horrible. Not so much my legs, but uh, my stomach, my chest. <laughs> I haven't even done that. Whoever's been to that bend 400 times, there's no way I got it got this far 400 times. Thank you, Nikolaj Thurgerson and Mr. Davis. Cheers, buddy. And John 56. Thank you, man. I wonder if I feel this crap because uh, I don't usually eat in the mornings. Obviously, I forced myself to have some granola really early today. Uh, it's not sitting well. I've got a banana as well there that I just can't bring myself to eat. Hey, Ben 21. Nearly there. He's pulling away. I'm not even thinking about chasing him at this point. I'm trying to get through this 20 minute slump that I always have. <sighs> yeah, pot noodle for breakfast. I couldn't bring myself to even do that, Peter. Although it is the, the fuel of cycling champions, clearly. Oh, is that your tea, Scott? Pot noodle tonight. Thank you, Vivian. Thank you, Scott, but I, I really don't agree this time. I'm hardly into the race at all, into the climb. I'm already struggling this bad. Ordinarily, I struggle like this because I've gone out too hard. They've got a lot further than this. I've not been above two watts per kilogram the entire race so far, and I still feel horrendous. Shepherd's pie for breakfast, Peter? No. That's not right. Paul, Mr. Rollers, Mr. Single Speed. Thank you, man. And Nadja is in my timing screen now, 17 seconds up the road. Putting out more power than me though, so I won't be closing. Thank you, Keith. Oh, there's eight people out above the category limit, are there? All right. Why does that not surprise me? Oh no, Paul. Unlucky, you and Oliver are both out, are you? Oh man. Unlucky, mate. Unlucky, Oliver. Oliver, just kick my ear off, kick your mum off. Jumping her bike.
Can have a look up further up. I'm not doing anything interesting here, that's for sure. Oh, it's going to take a while to get to the top. <laughs> hey, Nigel says hi, Oliver. Here we go, Darren. Yeah, I won't be done by qualifying, or certainly not by third practice. There's Christian absolutely smashing it. 7.2k in already. I'm, I'm not going to make this one, guys. I haven't put one yet. We're this short into the race. I feel really, really hideous. Like in my stomach more than anything. I want to try and find Brian if I can. That's Martin Overweg. Oh, Keith, that makes me feel even worse, man. <laughs> I know I don't have legitimate reasons that you do, I, but I honestly feel absolutely disgusting. Well, I'm going back to me, it's got really steep. Oh. I look a bit purple. Yeah, the lighting's a bit funny on that, but that could well be my complexion at the moment anyway. Yeah, I wonder why the lighting is funny on that, on that camera. I haven't changed anything. Was that a pug on that rock? <laughs> I didn't see, so I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> yeah, green I would have understood more. If I can, I will, Keith, power around that bench. Cheers, Paul, for the ride on. This isn't happening, guys. I, I hate to sound so defeated so early on, but I'm kind of reading my body. And this, for it to feel this bad this early on, oh, like I say, I feel sick. <laughs> Nadia, <laughs> good shout. <laughs> That'd be so funny if Christian set up another Zwift account as Kieran. <laughs> Just to keep me on my toes. I'm not rink, I'm riding to sort of what I think will stop me from vomiting at the moment and nothing more. I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, I know what's wrong with me. I just don't know what the actual root cause is. But I know I, I don't have the great diet and I'm not especially fit, but I don't think that accounts for all of this. I honestly don't. Sorry guys to depress you first thing on a Saturday morning. I've got one-legged Keith absolutely flying away from me. <laughs> yeah, that's no consolation, Rink. <laughs> if you were in my category, maybe I'd think that was a good thing. <sighs> I 
I could say it might be this thing that I go through every sort of 15, 20 minutes into a race anyway. So it's possible I'll recover a bit. Yeah, Keith will go off the edge and land upside down in a tree very soon. <laughs> well spotted, Rink. <laughs> I didn't block any insults. What have you got? <laughs> Are you using fruity language, Darren? Is that why I didn't come across? <sighs> You're right, Paul. Depending on how you read that, does that mean if I get healthier, I'll be happier? Or the happier I am, the healthier I feel? <laughs> If you put something with the words old and fat in there, I don't have any manual sort of moderators, which I should have, who can uh, physically delete those kind of disgusting, insulting posts. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, Peter. You're still, ahead, you're still putting out more power than me, Keith. You've dropped to one and a half. I've been hovering around that for the last 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, go on, Keith. I'd, I'd rather see you do well in this, given your current situation. No, just killing it. Nice one. Ah. Oh. <laughs> now, I agree with that, Paul. I'm hoping I can talk and ride my way through it. Because I know how happy I will be at the summit. It's just whether that elation of getting to the top is worth the discomfort on the way up. At the moment, no, it's not. But we'll see. Oh, Nate. Well, you missed the start of the race or the stream. Were well, you going to be racing today? Unlucky, man. Good to see you anyway. Yeah, cheers, Rink. Have a good day, dude. Oh, what a bugger, eh? I wish I'd missed the start. I need to do a snot rocket again. And I've got no tissues. Stupid, I didn't bring any out. It's really annoying. So you're going to have to hear me sniffing it back up for the foreseeable future.
that's what we're all about here, Nate. It's class, sophistication, culture. That's what this stream is known for. Yeah, well said, Paul. I don't think Erin is in the race, though. She's had a mega week of riding. So I wouldn't blame her for missing this one. Oh, God. Put me up on the big screen. That's not a good idea. Especially not if I do this. Yeah, it's a pretty stable gap now to Keith, but as I mentioned earlier, I'm racing half a Keith basically, so it's not a fair fight. On your big screen now, Nath. Hey, Connor, dude, how you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for the ride on. That's very gracious of you, Keith. But yours isn't through gluttony and uh, mindless neglect of your health. Yours is an injury. Oh, I really need to clear my nose. <laughs> is there anything I could grab? I don't think so. Hey, cheers, Nate, for the ride on. Lord, your highness, Glover. Your grace. How should I address you if you're a lord? Would it be your grace, your... Um, I think that must be it. Your lordship. Headband. What about it? Come on, come on, Paul. What have I done with my headband? Oh, for my nose. Oh, that's a good shout. But then I'll forget and I'll put it back on my head. That wouldn't be pleasant. <laughs> no eye contact while I do it. I'll, no, it'll be like, like that as I expel the uh, mucus from my schnoz. Hey, Stephen, cheers, buddy. Where is Stephen? Is he in this race? Is he flying away from me? <sighs> mm. 
My tracksuit bottoms are tantalizingly just out of reach over there. I would definitely be using those if I could reach them. Thank you, W. Steinman. <laughs> I look slimmer on the big screen. <laughs> I'll probably like compress the image to fit the screen or something. <laughs> oh man. Well done for getting the booster. But sorry to hear you feeling crappy. Hope it doesn't last too long, mate. Have you got the achy arm and general sort of fluey feeling? Full man flu. Oh, dude. I can't have the booster because, uh, as we discovered, I'm on immune suppressants and the vaccine is the exact opposite of that. And uh, that's what's caused my vision problems with my myasthenia gravis. That's what made it such a long lasting flare up. So I can have the booster, but sort of go back to not being able to see for a while. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm a perfect 16, but we're a 20. <laughs> oh, well said, Peter. Yeah, anyone who's not riding today, I hope they're thinking, save the muscles. Just do a gentle sort of keep the legs spinning this week then hit the mega pretzel next Sunday. Morning, Mike. Uh, Keith is there 21 seconds ahead of me. No, I don't ride Zwift uh, other than these races, and I know that's not a good idea. Uh, you've got the booster with no issues other than the sore arm. Glad to hear that, mate. Definitely seems to be different for everybody, doesn't it? <laughs> no thinking this year's league is now over. I'm not thinking that at all. I've got uh, I've got loads of competition still. Regardless of what happens today, it's all on. Bearing in mind, obviously, it's only your top 15 results that count towards the uh, final reckoning anyway. So this, Mont Ventoux, all the low scoring rounds will be disregarded from the records. Yeah, I've been trying. That's exactly what I've been looking at, Nath. Trying to keep it under 170 where possible. So that I'll have, hopefully, if I can get there, a few matches to burn towards the top. You love the Mega Pretzel. No one loves the Mega Pretzel.
Hey, Mr. Pickering, good to see you, man. What did you miss, Scott? Um, myself and Keith are still the same kind of distance apart. Nigel's now a minute ahead. Brian's probably finished. And there's been lots of talk about bogeys, snot. Other than that, not a lot. How was your bacon and eggs, Van Man? Oh, I think you mentioned that before, Stephen. Yeah, good on you, dude. No, no, she's had a dropout. Oh, she's back going again. Sorry about that, Nadja. I'll bear that in mind next time I mention how well you're doing a minute ahead of me. <laughs> I'm not sure I remember admitting that, but I suppose I don't remember half of what I say during these streams, I'll be honest. <laughs> The 111, that's not, that's not until early next year, isn't it? Uh, I will be doing it, definitely. Thank you, M. Stet. Is it Michael Stet? I, oh, I'm terrible. I should have just stuck with M. Yeah, exactly, Scott. Live and let live. Oh, I really do need to clear my nose though. There are only downhill sections on this route where I can jump off quickly. <laughs> oh, the side 16 comment. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, look at Nadia, absolutely powering away now. Nothing can stop her, surely. I wonder how long would it take me to jump off the bike? Grab my tracksuit bottoms from over there. So I have a I have a tissue. <laughs> Don't risk turning off the stream, Nadia, because I think that's the only thing that's keeping your network afloat. If you turn off the stream, you're gonna have even more dropouts. It's just the way it works. After this switchback, I think I might have a chance just to jump off for a second without losing quite as much. Uh, without losing as much time to Keith. Are you going to have a rest, Keith? Thank you, Jason. All right, I'm going to get around this hairpin. And then I'm going to jump off for literally what I'm hoping will be five, ten seconds. Keith, carry on, dude. Unless you want to rest, then fair enough. But you might only get ten seconds rest. Yeah, you're lying, Nate. It's actually got a bit steeper, I think. At least Nadia's going really well with a really solid network connection there, not having any problems at all. Surely she's in for the win. 
Oh, you're twelve percent. <laughs> right, Keith, I'm stopping now, just for ten seconds. So have a rest, dude. Oh. I know what I'm going to do, so you don't hear any of this. Ruben Visser! <laughs> What's your name, sir? Marcus. Go, go, go! Best of luck, everyone! Who's your Kathleen? Oh, get me gone! You won't even move it! Jesus Christ! It will do, it's just gonna it's trying to register that you. Is it trying to. Oh my god, it really hurts my thingy. Oh. Ow. Yeah, it hurts, Mark. It hurts my bits. I can't do it. Oh, it I needs to be lower. I don't know. What? How hard is that? Oh, hang on. There we go. Mojito gel. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Stephen. That would be my best bet, wouldn't it? Use Jane. <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> now that would have been funny. <laughs> it will do, Nath, but... They're here. Should I need them? Or when I need them again, which I definitely will. I know someone will screenshot it and it'll be some kind of panty sniffer meme. Not tissues, Mike. I have my tracksuit bottoms, which are perfectly good for blowing my nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nadia with some bolt cutters, ready to cut those logs down. <laughs> mean again they
I'm now wondering what Jane's price would be. <sighs> Could I pay it in spare kit? Extra jerseys. Well, Jane pretty much cleaned me out. She ordered multiple versions of everything I've ever made, I think. <laughs> Mr. McGrath, how you doing, my friend? Oh, Stephen, you're letting yourself down, dude. I know you are like the granddad of dad jokes, but that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was my other option, Patrick. I've got, I mean, unopened bags of six or seven jerseys and bibs down there, and then about 50 cats. It was tempting. Stick them back in the bag, no one will notice. I'll just palm it off as like some, a little trial bit of sh chamois cream or something. Special WKG formula chamois cream. Free with every set of bibs. <laughs> All right, I will stop. <laughs> Yeah, apologies to anyone who was eating their breakfast while I was just talking bogeys and bib shorts just then. <laughs> You're not wrong. Saturday morning entertainment, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, I am slowly but surely clawing back in on the hop. As I mentioned, Nadja's away and gone. Nothing to worry about now for Nadja. She's absolutely assured to have a perfectly stable connection all the way to the finish now for a victory. I'd argue that if you had blood and tears in your bib shorts, that's just as suspicious, Stephen. <laughs> Who did I say was a rubbish driver? Oh, Emma. <laughs> Yeah, Keith is there. See his glowing Tron wheels. Oh, 
Oh, you gotta love these 30% bits. <laughs> That's something they should build into Zwift. Give someone a little nipple grip or a bum pinch or something like that as you come past. Just tap their, tap their hat off. Cheers, Davy Potts, for the ride on. <laughs> yeah, careful what you say to say about Keith. He can rip your legs off in a time trial. Thank you to you, Kada. All joking aside, Nadja is pacing this so well. That gap is just steadily increasing. It's brilliant. <clears throat> I think Stephen Game and Duncan Murray are pretty close to each other. Their names keep changing position. Three and a half minutes up the road. Wow, well, Keith's found some pace. Good job, dude. Right, it's that time again, I'm afraid. Cheers, Martin.
<laughs> Darren. Yep, I am still going. Have you just changed your YouTube name? Good man. Jogger sniffer. <laughs> Oh, did I? <laughs> Sorry, Stephen. <laughs> I'll try and remember that <laughs> for the next time. Yeah, Dara, just embrace it, dude. Despite the numerous comical definitions of Magoo and Magooing, I will embrace my name Magoo at some point in my uh, all my profiles. <laughs> Was it that bad, Stephen? Sorry, man. That's a good point, Patrick. I'll tell you how you know. My twin hasn't let himself go in the same way. He's much better looking. So you spot it a mile off. Yeah, my twin is Persin, Persin Emmanuel. Didn't you know that? He's like my 30 year younger doppelganger. And apparently, uh, David Badil, according to my wife, David Blaine, when I was a bit younger and thinner. Um, According to my kids, pretty much any glasses wearing bearded Asian bloke they ever see is my twin. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, my per person Emmanuel, who is my younger twin, is, is definitely an eight. <laughs> It was, was it quite a powerful one? I can't remember that. <laughs> Got hiccups now. <clears throat> He's my fit, sober doppelganger. <laughs> what the hell is Muhlenstein's? I'm gonna have to remember the mute button next time I blow my nose. Apologies, everyone. Oh, those! Oh, have you got? Did you get them? Have you finished already, David? Jesus! And you got the Millensteins. Good job, dude. I thought it was some kind of medication for my mucus problem. I think I've said this before. I've, I've heard how many climbs people have done to try and get those wheels. And I got them on my first climb, I think. Definitely first or second. I feel a bit smug. See if uh, Brian Roden wants them, David. I'm sure he hasn't got any yet. Percy, dude. Thanks for the ride on, man. On ride 11, that's good going as well, compared to most. Do 
know I haven't seen for a while? Kev Stephen. Where's he hiding? He's not been here to give me abuse for a long time. Hey Andy, you got the wheels as well. Good job, man. Bloody hell, all these people that are finishing already. My PB is about now that I should have finished. Gives you an idea of the drop off in the last couple of years. Actually, that's not true. My PB is for the climb itself, isn't it? So this, this minute and nine we've been doing includes the running, uh, the leading before the climb. But my PB for the actual climb is 107. Oh, nice, David. <laughs> I'm struggling to get above one watt per kilogram now. All right, let's do another, another one of these. I will mute it this time. No noises that time, I hope. I haven't dropped off, I've just filled out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't. Don't say that. Again, if that's true, I apologize. Should I just turn the, the pain cam off? It'd be much more pleasant for all of you. Just watch the Zwift, the, uh, the Zwift feed. I'll just turn the mic and the camera off. Thank you, Team Mantler. <laughs> oh, there's the scary tree. Usually signifies the start of the cramping for me, that tree. Guys, I've got 15 viewers and two likes. Surely my <coughs> nasal expulsion should warrant more likes than that. <laughs> David. 
Hey, hey, Ed, how you doing, my friend? Great to see you. Thanks for the ride on. Yeah, I think I had both, David. <laughs> yeah, you're excused, Aaron. Oh, look at that. Immediately doubled my likes. <laughs> TMI, so was I've just poured sweat out of my shoes. This stream so far seems to have been about bodily fluids more than anything else. Percy, that means Percy is definitely finished. He's now in the chat. Yeah, good job, dude. <laughs> yeah, this is just the, the precursor to the big one, David. I'm going to be trying to ride and watch the final Grand Prix of the season at the same time. going to be tricky not to spoil it because I will be watching live maybe I won't stream the ride that might be the best bet oh of course Percy I forget about the time zones jeez so even now what is it only like half half past five in the morning I think you're mental as well Percy Oh yeah, the season has been well, the best I can remember, I think. Next week is the Mega Pretzel. And it clashes with the Grand Prix Grand Finale. Well, David, I, I'm thinking about it. I probably won't stream my, my ride so I can watch the... Uh, Watch the Grand Prix on the, on my other screen here. I'm not sure my bandwidth could cope with me streaming the Grand Prix and streaming a ride and being connected to Zwift. So I bet I do remember it, but I don't the, the Prost Senna times. But I'm wondering if I remember it more from replays than actually at the time. Uh, yeah, Patrick, they seem to change their mind depending on which magazine or video you watch. They change their mind about what does and doesn't cause cramp every week. I think the most reliable thing is um, make sure your electrolytes are, are up. I think that's probably the only thing that consistently seems to make a bit of a difference. Yeah, I'm not sure how old I would have been. Probably about 10 as well. How old are you, David? If you don't mind me asking. Ah, oh, well done, Mark. That's, that's mega, mate, if you finished. Thank you, dude. Yeah. See you on the first of the big ones. 
Actually, it's the second of the big ones. Oh, yeah, so we're nearly the same age. I'm 47, so, yeah. That's why I probably only vaguely remember it. I was a mad, mad Senna fan from the first time I ever saw him drive. So, rather than even being a Grand Prix fan, it was all about Ayrton Senna for me at that point in time. Of course, it is mathematically possible that the championship will be over tomorrow anyway. But I think that I'm as likely to win this race in the DCAT as, uh, as it is likely that that will happen. No, I've not, David. I've been to the British Grand Prix a couple of times, but I've not been to the museum. Oh, really? So I'm actually really close. Obviously, Woking is just around the corner from me. So I'm close to the McLaren Centre of Technology or whatever they call it. So I'd love to somehow get a visit there one day. They've got, obviously, a, a whole lineup of uh, championship winning cars and classics. <laughs> yeah, Shanta, that's that's probably the only the only way this championship would be won this weekend. <laughs> ah, nice one, David. So the first actual Grand Prix I went to, believe it or not, was the only or oh, actually he might have won two. Uh, it was the first race Johnny Herbert ever won in the Benetton. And it was the year. Damon Hill took Michael Schumacher out at Silverstone and Johnny Herbert went on to win in the Benetton. Yeah, I agree, David. I think the focus obviously is on the front too, but I've got a feeling there's going to be safety cars all over the place, utter carnage through, through turns, what was it, like 22 and 23, I think, are just absolute nightmare. Yeah, 94, I think it was, David. Hey, Johnny, Johnny Winwood, not Jamie Winwood. Thanks for the ride up, man. Ah, oh, feeling cramped around my knees. The Camel Benetton. Was it the Camel one that he won in? I think it was just after that. It was the blue, the light blue. Have a, have a good one, David. Enjoy those. Oh, nice one, Darren. I think I prefer that to the race. I'd rather get into the paddock and see the ins and outs of it. I managed to do that for the Moto. I think it was called the 500 Grand Prix uh, motorbikes back then with Kevin Schwantz and uh, Alex Barros, I think, was his teammate in the Suzuki team at the time. And that was at Donington, managed to get in the pits and everything. That was really good. <sighs> right, nose cleansing time again, I'm afraid, people.
Oh, I had my microphone was muted. You just missed some absolute gold. I basically revealed the secrets of the universe while you were muted. <laughs> Keith, I tell you what, how you're still going, man, is amazing. Please quit so I can. <laughs> now that I cannot claim to be my I'll quite gladly pretend that I'm a rally god and a GT3 and F1 god I can't even pretend to be a Zwifting god not today anyway Yeah, absolutely, Nadja. I always thought Zwift should name this Alp de Brian. Brian the Huez. Thank you, Mike, for that. That's just cruel, Patrick. You'll be happy to know I didn't have a single beer yesterday. I had three glasses of red wine, but I didn't have a single beer. <laughs> You're feeling the pain. Man, how could you say you'd rather do Von 2 twice? I am never doing Von Top again, ever. <clears throat> yeah, we need Coach Jane's training plan as some kind of public document. Hey, Jim. Yeah, exactly. Look, Mike's giving it all the big one. He's not even racing. He needed his beauty sleep. Mind you, as I say, it's what, quarter to six in the morning in Canada? I think about it every t every pedal stroke, Mike. A nice chilled beer would go down beautifully right now. That said, I'm a coffee lover too. 
I've got half a cup of coffee here that I can't bring myself to drink. Just don't fancy it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That wine. They used to use that, didn't they? Wine and whiskey and stuff in the early Tour de France. Oh, the gym started at 4.15. Man. Fair play to all you guys that did that. I struggled to get up at 9.15. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I've got, I, in fact, I can see them. They're right behind my monitor. I've got a load of Williams ones there. I think the Camel uh, Benetton. Oh, I thought it was over there with the Schumacher collection. Uh, it might be just this side behind my monitor because I've got McLarens. Then I think Benetton and Jordan. Then Williams. And then there's a footwork and a... Ligier or something there and over there I've got mainly Ferrari and some Lotus <laughs> oh hands don't tell me that <laughs> Kevin's on the last hairpin Kevin mate I'll do that now in case I forget at the end good job Yeah, exactly what Darren says. Ridiculously priced in recent years, Grand Prix tickets. <sighs> yeah, that's exactly it. Silverstone is so expensive. I think if I ever do it again, I'll go to Spa or Monza, something like that. Oh, that would be a good one. I couldn't tell you exactly how much the tickets are, but the last time I looked was a few years ago. And I think just a race day ticket was something like £160. Yeah, Melbourne. I'd go to all of them, to be honest. <laughs> My kids used to play uh, Rockstar or whatever it was called. I'm, a, I'm more a saxophonist, Patrick, as you know. <laughs> Go on then, Jay, David, how much of it? What? Is that for Silverstone? Holy hell. I'm assuming that's a weekend pass for 256, surely. Exactly. Hey, Kev's back straight away. He comes out with a blinding comment. Good to see you, mate. I was talking about you earlier. Exactly. Save you £256. Just tune into one of my streams. That's what real driving is all about. Just the Sunday, 256 quid. Holy hell. Right, I will do an online... Uh, an online British Grand Prix and ch not charge you anything like 256 quid to watch the live stream. I'll do it on a pay-per-view for the bargain price of 252. But you get the whole race weekend for that live stream. Yeah, that's true, Darren. That's like two months of Sky TV. <laughs> Kev, how are you, mate? Haven't spoken to you for a while. Life size change, I need to know what your actual name is. I can't re keep referring to as life size change. <laughs> Kev, it's proper entertainment, you know that. You should have seen my last rally video. Whoa. You think of all the money people used to pay to watch Colin McRae. Actually, they didn't, did they? They just stood at the side of a, a road. <laughs> Right, sorry guys, it's uh, 
nasal cleansing time. Bear with me. I don't want to be too graphic, but my joggers now look like some slugs have had an orgy on it or something. It's really horrible. Emma's definitely going to ask questions when I put those in the washing basket. <coughs> That's true, you can ride around Silverstone for 50 quid, can't you, in the um, uh, that annual event thing they did. Kev's just here for the beer. <laughs> You're Stella. Is that your beer type or um, your name? Life size change. Right, I'm going to refer to you as Stella now anyway, whatever. I've got to get out of my saddle a bit. <laughs> Slug orgy, yeah. Sorry about that. I do do the laundry myself, Nadia, but it all goes into a basket before it goes in the wash. Oh my God, Kev. How many times do I have to threaten to ban you? <laughs> the biggest problem with those comments is I feel like I should elaborate for the viewing public, but I know I can't. <laughs> Did I ever get my groove back? What are you talking about? Well, with the saxophone, is that, is that what that refers to? <laughs> Nadia, good girl. <laughs> Honest to God, I know I mentioned it before. I was walking the dog with tears streaming down my face because of Nadia's direct messages to me following my good girl comment. <clears throat> Oh, sorry, sorry, Shanta, yeah. What's Tyre Bouchon? I mean, reading between the lines, that's a horrendously difficult ride. <laughs> oh, where are we? Turn six, jeez. Sure, no. Dude, how sings, mate? Yeah, rather, rather anyone than me as well, Sean. Sadly, I feel obliged to join in, having created this league. It's kind of like, it can't really be a, here's a schedule, now you lot go and do it. I suppose I have to join in at some stage. Yeah, why are you still here, Darren? <laughs> Keith gets tantalizingly close, then stretches away. He is my star of the day, whatever happens from here. You are Stella, but I can call you Stella Artois. Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing this is somebody else that I do know that is using a pseudonym. Much like myself. For anyone that doesn't know, my name isn't actually Marcus Neal. It's hurting now. Hey, gee, sure no. <clears throat> oh, that sounds nice and horrible all in one sentence. Stella.
Was that in real life or on a, on Zwift or a tra or a training program? <clears throat> oh, it's a Zwift route, is it? Oh, I couldn't tell you, Andy. I'd be amazed if Sky haven't got exclusive live rights to the race for the final. <laughs> Happy to entertain, Stella. It does appear that that is the only reason people ever watch these, is in the hope that I'm going to get full-on cramp, be sick, cry, whinge about the discomfort. Oh, cross. Oh. Have chain drops. Yeah, exactly, Patrick. That's my stage name. I thought I'd come up, come up with something really catchy, like Marcus Neal. <laughs> Dave, mate, so what is it, about 10 o'clock in the evening where you are? So you've had a nice night in the pub, the whole time I'm still sweating and grinding my way up this mountain. I'm going straight back to bed after this, I swear. I'm gonna watch the qualifying in bed with a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that every time, Kev. The only time, the only way that's going to happen is if, well, there's two ways. No one else turns up, or everybody has a simultaneous network failure, excluding me. Even then, Nadia had network failure, and she's still nearly three minutes ahead of me. It sounds like a good one, Stella. I'll have to have a look into that. I'm thinking I might need to change some of the routes for the remaining stages anyway. Not the dates or the times before anyone gets on my back. Just the routes. Uh, just to um, include some of the newer ones from like the Mercury Island, where it's called. Stuff like that. <laughs> but don't bet on it. <sighs> really struggling now. Neokio, that's it. Ah, oh, Kevin, mate. Obviously, no one would be prouder than your dad. But I do feel a sense of pride. That is awesome, my friend. Absolutely awesome. Just to complete it, but you've completed it bloody fast. Absolutely amazing. Well done. If Keith wasn't riding with one leg, you would 100% get rider of the day. <laughs> I don't get hungover these days. I don't... See, I've now painted this picture of me being this raging alcoholic. I, I have a drink most nights, which doesn't sound good, but the reality is most nights it's maybe one glass of beer or one glass of wine. I have a little bit more on sim racing nights because everyone knows operating a high speed car whilst drunk is the best thing to do, obviously. Right, please sense the sarcasm in that comment, anyone that feels the need to complain about that. <clears throat> oh, Kev. Don't worry about your ant plus, just bin that old dog of a kicker of yours. Hey, hey, Catherine, thank you. That means Catherine's finished. Martin's here, that means he's finished. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, David. Good recovery, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a party here every night, Kev. Get well boozed up on half a bottle of Lefe or a small glass of red. Yeah, if it's 60 odd K of like rolling hills and flats, that actually does sound like a good race route. So I'll have to have a look at that one. See what other route I've picked that we can replace with that. All right, sorry guys, slug orgy time again. Bear with me. Again, apologies. I'm not usually this mucousy. It must be the, the cold air or something. <sighs> Cheers, Dave. I'll do my best, my friend. Have a good night. <sighs> All right, I'll look at that as well. Patrick, definitely. <sighs> Admission is a start. Admission of, what have I missed? Remember, pain is weakness leaving the legs. Oh, no, it's not. I have to disagree. Pain is my muscles filling up with lactic acid and telling me to stop. <laughs> how, <laughs> how, how fully sympathizes with the slug situation. <laughs> It is a pain, isn't it, How I, I don't usually have it anywhere near as this, this bad, so I just have to remember during these winter months to have a full load of tissues with me or just a spare pair of trousers as, uh, as is coming handy today. Look at Keith suddenly up at three watts per kilogram. If he had both legs working, he'd be sprinting at six watts per kilogram for the win. Yes, I mean, I'm breathing purely through my mouth at the moment and because my nose is constantly blocked up. A slug walked over your foot. <laughs> you wouldn't want one of these slugs walking over your foot. <laughs> Kev, I've done 30 snot rockets in this video so far. It's been quite disgusting. Seems to have been the theme of the day. Do a snot rocket. It's nothing entertaining. I do it like this, Martin. I, I put you on this screen and then I mute the microphone. And then I snot into my, um, I snot into my spare tracksuit bottoms that are on the chair next to me. Oh God, what am I doing? Oh, oh. Oh, are we nearly there? Two and a half K. Yeah, sorry, it's not a full like fire snot at the camera that I'm sure you'd appreciate. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, a hundred, I can't afford to drop a hundred watts. <laughs> I shouldn't be Martin, that's the truth of it. It's kind of a a give and take. Hey, speaking of my younger, better looking doppelganger. Thanks for the ride on, Pierre Saint-Emmanuel. Um, 
Yeah, it's kind of give and take with the chatty, Martin. I find it an amazing distraction and often sort of covered some distance without realising it once I, once I go into full waffle mode. But yeah, like you say, at the same time, I've starved myself of valuable oxygen with every word, really. Ted's worried I'm going to be passed by a slug. I said I was missing you earlier, Kev, before you came here. Yeah, exactly. I think I've swallowed as many as I've got rid of, though, unfortunately. You say I'm nearly there, but 2.3 kilometers on this climb still takes a while. But yeah, I suppose I am nearly there, technically. Kev, I need you to do your thing. Got 16 viewers, but only eight likes. I'm hurt. Yeah, it's not my max heart rate, but I think I could, if I didn't talk at all, I think I could comfortably be doing the power I'm doing at the moment, sort of mid 150s maybe. Yeah, exactly, Stella. It's like, I'd rather be slightly out of breath but distracted by chatting with you guys. Yeah, thanks for that, Patrick. I was kind of aware of that before you hammered it home for me. <laughs> Enjoy, Martin. Well done, mate. Speaking of eggs, Hey, Jay Richardson, no, I can't, unfortunately. Hey, Snarefoli. Are you back home from Manchester? You picked one hell of a game to go to. Hope you enjoyed it and your little engine enjoyed it. Yeah, I will. If I have anything, I will have to make some kind of attack on Keith at some point, won't I? My hunch is that Keith has more left in the tank than I do. Hey, thank you, Miss Joseph. If this was a driving game, I'd be well ahead of Keith, make no mistake. I would not let this happen in a driving game. <laughs> Again, fair comment, Patrick. Well, I'm up to 10 likes already. So some people have taken the risk of liking it before I do some kitten punching.
<laughs> that is the lamest excuse ever, Stella. <clears throat> How much power have I got in the legs? Right now, this much, 1.2. <laughs> 106, uh, 120 watts. I think Stephen, oh, I can't remember who it was that was dicing with Duncan Murray. Is it Stephen Game? <clears throat> You've already done this race. Oh, sorry, man, I didn't notice you. Good God, so you flew back from Manchester, still jumped on a Saturday morning out climb. I didn't have porridge today. I couldn't stomach it. I am. Um, I just really struggle with eating in the morning anyway. So I had a small bowl of granola and half a coffee. That's all I've eaten. I'm not a porridge fan. If the ride is later in the day, I would, I'd have had something like a porridge. If it was like lunchtime ride, I'd have tried to have had a decent cereal and a banana. If it's later, my food of choice seems to be a pot noodle, which I know is horrible. Actually, good point, yeah, I have to do it a bit more fluids. A beer and a burger. Don't think I could stomach the burger, but I'll take a beer at the end of this, that's for sure. I have a new absolute favourite beer, by the way. West Mail Triple. Oh my God. I forgot to give it an actual rating on my stream during the week, but I've given it a score of 109 out of 111. So it's top of the leaderboard. <laughs> Yeah, Kev, mate, those were the days, eh? <sighs> yeah, you're right, Stella, I will try and sprint. I have this every race, I think I'm absolutely dead. But somehow there is enough there to mount what I constitute as a, as a sprint, albeit it's the slowest, weakest sprint you'll ever see but it's a significant, uh, significant upping of power for 100 meters or so. <laughs> you know what's wrong with porridge, Kev. I, I might as well lick my tracksuit bottoms that are there now than eat porridge. The texture and taste will be very similar. <sighs> Bombay bad boy, no, I, I always just go for the chicken and mushroom. That's what I had, probably, probably less than 40 grams of granola, to be honest. <laughs> I forgot about that. I do cook a mean chilli. Mean meaning disgusting. Although, <laughs> I've never cooked a roast dinner before until last Wednesday, maybe? Steve. And uh, it was incredible. I did like sticky roasted carrots, stuffing, chicken, potatoes, green veg, bread sauce. It was phenomenal. Yeah, Brian Roden's 400th. I can only assume he finished that ages ago. But yeah, of course with a sauce sachet. It wasn't homemade bread sauce, don't be stupid. <laughs> but I did season the chicken myself with garlic, pepper, 
butter and salt, and it was amazing. Oh, that sounds hideous. Sorry, Stella, but that sounds disgusting. <laughs> Part powder. I don't have any gels or anything either. I don't, I've never really gone with them. <laughs> Easy, Kev. That's like a knife to the heart. Yeah, that's Keith ahead. He's been there this whole race. <laughs> I wasn't going to eat it anyway, Nate. It wasn't just because it was rank. I wasn't going to have it anyway. <laughs> She liked it, by the way. She thought it was fine. Yeah, I didn't do the sprouts. I'm the only one in my house that likes sprouts, so I didn't do those. Oh, my trainer's creaky today. Leave that hurts my knees. All right. <laughs> Kim, how have you finished? Nadia. Amazing. Well done. All right, hang on a second. I'm struggling to find a clean spot on my joggers now to snot into. Mashed sprouts. Not sure about that. <laughs> You're welcome, Shunter. Should I auction off these joggers at the end of the day? The end of the stream. <laughs> Plenty of genuine Zwift God DNA in there, joggers. <sighs> yep. Yeah, Stella knows. Hey, Peter. Thanks, man. I'm trying. I'm trying to catch Keith. <laughs> yeah, Darren. It already is the next WKG design. That's it now. That's locked in. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I frame the joggers? It's unlikely I'm going to wear them again, I'll be honest. Honey and water, that sounds better. I think I could stomach that. The mic? What? What have I done with the mic? It's working, isn't it? You can see the wheel. Which wheel are you talking about? Keith, wheel ahead. This is the furthest away he's been for a while. I can't, I just can't do anything yet because then I, I have zero chance of getting anywhere near him. <clears throat> it's going to have to be as late as I can possibly leave it to have some kind of attack, but it's such a long shot. <sighs> yeah, now that's how sprouts should be cooked. Something else that sort of dilutes the flavour of the sprouts themselves, I suppose. Yeah, go on, Keith. 1K, dude. That's amazing. Super proud, mate.
My backside is killing me. <sighs> yeah, see, Andy, you lost me again. I don't like chestnuts. <laughs> or a duvet. <laughs> That's the ultimate kick in the teeth, Keith. <laughs> I didn't mute it when I snotted. Oh, sorry, dude. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. If I put you off your porridge. Hey Matt, how are you doing my friend? Thanks for the ride on. Oh, I do apologize for my disgusting snot noises where I forgot to mute it. I will keep that in mind. If I think I could stomach honey and water, which sounds more appealing than most things, maybe with a bit of lemon in there. I'll give that a go. All right, round bend one. It's slugging, that's the new verb for it. <laughs>
I'm cramping. Shit, I'm cramping. I can't get out of the saddle. I'm trying to ignore it. I can't guys, I tried, I promise, I cramp if I get out of the saddle, and I can't get the power when I'm in the saddle, keep well up man, I can't do it, I know he's right there, but he, he's got the power to make me work harder than I can, my legs are gone, thanks Percy. Well done, Keith. Oh, that's frustratingly close. Sorry, everyone. I know, so he's only got one leg. And that one leg is better than both mine. I'm going to be sick. Keith, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, oh, 14 lights, I don't deserve them. Oh my God, God, I'm actually gonna be sick. Oh shit. Oh, come on. Fuck, oh, roll over. Thank you guys. I'm not kidding. It's not worth it. Oh God. I'm gonna feel horrendous for the rest of the weekend now. <laughs> Kev, you know that's my sprint. Oh, I don't know what I got. <sighs> I've, I think I very rarely finished above a Denton. Oh. Oh, I've had to put a bib on in case I throw up. Thank you, Nadia. You too. Absolutely stunning. Keith. Amazing, mate. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I was tempted to do that, Stella. Just bring it down a little bit. I think I'm on about 65% again. I bet it's not, Darren. Oh, well done, everyone. If you don't mind, I'm not going to hang around to go through the the finishing order because I really go, need to go and lie down somewhere, probably in the toilet room, my head over the bowl. Um, thank you for putting up with my disgusting mucus and uh, description of it. I'll save you from further repulsiveness by not letting you see me um, throw up. No, I can't be bothered with the descent, Darren. It's, it's three miles that I really don't care about. Uh, likewise, Keith, I actually would have stopped had it not been for the, for the dangling carrot that is a one-legged denton in front of me. Thank you, my friend. That, you made me get through that, I promise you. Um, and everyone in chat, brilliant. As you know, I was ready to quit after 15 minutes. Right, I am done. Did Keith not have a... Oh, yeah, Keith. Oh, brilliant. We can disqualify Keith. 
<laughs> so I beat him. <laughs> Is there any way we could disqualify Nadia? <laughs> and Duncan and Steve. Well, I'm off, guys, because uh, seriously, yeah, I need to go. Thank you all so much for giving me your Saturday mornings. I hope you have a brilliant rest of your weekend. Chapeau to everybody that did, that did that, particularly Keith and Kevin Summerson. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and grab a beer. I might be on the Simbrig later if I can sit up and keep my keep food down. Thanks, everyone. Take it easy. Catch you on the next one.